Oh crikey, we got Infinity here on commentary, joined by Swank here in doubles grand finals of the crossover tournament. We've got Dinty and Luck coming from the winner side in their natural habitat versus Sethlon and Disaster. Definitely out of their normal range. God, I'm so done with that. Very true. <laughs> we have four of the most majestic Smashers in DFW facing off here on Smash Bros. And it begins. Oh, crikey, guys. Wait, is this a game? I thought it was a button check. I just saw barrels and charged up. Now, I'm calling this a game. They're playing. I'm thinking this is a game. I'm pretty sure this is a game. Now it's the most aggressive button check I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh. Oh dang! What with a Gohan scroll? Behind. That needs to go home with somebody. It's not gonna be me, but that needs to go home with somebody. Now, real I got talk. My eye on that keyblade over there. Whoa! I didn't even see that. I've looked over there like 700 times too. Keyblade that's over there. All right, Denti and Lux have a stock lead on each, on both Cephalon and Disaster. And then Denti losing his first stock to something from Disaster. I didn't see what it, it was. It was throw. I was up throw. Okay, I figured it was. I thought I heard it. I was just busy looking at Keyblade. Send him to the stars. Denti, please. Yeah, Denti, yeah. So I know doubles is a little bit more difficult to do commentary and such on. Um, Sethlon losing his stock to an air dodge right there. So what I like to do whenever I'm doing commentary on doubles is I actually like to try and talk about the teams overall. Like talking about how like a green team has a little bit of a slight disadvantage right now. Although the percent with Dinty right now could very easily turn that right around. And then that could also turn it around because Roy has an awful recovery. You know that feel as a Roy player. That yes. So that's who you play. I've seen you come out to like three or four of these tournaments, but I have never actually seen you play. Yep, I, I <laughs> play Roy. I'm kind of torn on who to root for here. I have a reason for rooting for Dinty and Luck. Would you like to hear my reason? I would love to. So I can go home. I want to go home. <laughs> Guys, I've been out of town for days. I just want to go home and see a puppy and two cat, three cats. Skittles? Yes, Skittles is still around. Were you at the, the, the first tournament that we had at the apartment? Not the first one. No. Okay, we have a puppy. Her name is Riley. We call her the Nintendo. She is a Nintendo. Riley. Yes, Riley is Riley is basically the best dog. All right, so green team with again they're down just a little bit, but Lux percent this time can easily turn this around. I hope I don't compensators curse somebody again. That would be I would just plain feel bad, especially if it's green team with how far behind they are. Um, ooh, Dinty going for a down smash there. Oh, they're gonna gang up on him. Forward air. Question mark. See, the thing about... Whoa. That's an, an angle I didn't expect. Um, Alright, so red team with a very solid lead over the green team. That'll do it right there. Dinty with the back air. Taking game one for the green team. Great job by... Not by not for the green team. Sorry, for the red team. My 2.37 a.m. commentary is off point. Sorry, everybody. It was actually a pretty interesting match because I thought with Luck and uh, with Diddy Kong and Ivysaur's projectiles and everything that they would have a lot more con control over the stage, but Sethlon and Disaster did a pretty good job of holding control, but it just wasn't quite enough. Well, see, the thing is, and, and the part where it actually makes it start to turn very, very difficult, is because Sethon is not a projectile character and everything else on the field is a projectile character, that, compounded by his short range overall, his relatively average run speed, and his full recovery, makes it very, very difficult for Roy to be a strong character in the and it looked like it was an up smash that took uh, Zafir's first time. So, and, and philosophically speaking, when it comes to doubles, especially doubles in the world, um, having a strong recovery, having a strong defensive game, is basically paramount to winning, because living is more important in doubles than killing. That's just flat out how it is. The longer you live, the more chances you have of things happening. And that's theoretically similar in singles as well, but because in singles you have safer approach options because there's not so much chaos going on, it's not 
as important for you to play as safe as you should. So you can see, ooh, great forward smash from Zachary right there. That wasn't even the power one. Um, so you can see uh, uh, characters with strong recoveries, such as Ivysaur, and large ranges of influence, such as Ivysaur and Diddy Kong. Also, Diddy Kong having a good recovery. You can see things like that making these characters very, very, very good in doubles compared to the uh, counterparts from the green team. Now, that being said, Red Team is down right now, but only slightly, only by percent. If Dinty lands a sweet spot back air on either of these two players, they're probably going to die. Dinty accidentally turning around on his up B right there, not quite able to kill... There's the kill right there. There's that sweet spot back air I was talking about. Dinty accidentally clipping his partner. Oh, great recovery option by Sethlon. Goes right in between both of them, so he does not get hit by the back air or by the barrels. Um, disaster. Uh, throw will not kill luck, not quite yet. No, he's too much of a fastballer. Up air chains. Into an up B. Not quite going to get the kill. Oh, kills his partner in an attempt to kill. See, it's more important to, get, to, to, to not get the kill right there. Why? How did that not hit the ledge? Wow. So we see Green Team here with just a stock lead, and as soon as I say that. <laughs> it's not like as in the soon middle as of I you say saying that. that. <laughs> Didn't he have the smaller beam on him? Uh -oh. hey, that's going to kill me. That's going to kill me. Oh, the MS Pink smaller beam. Wow! Oh, that's a very stock. unfortunate turn of events. Great shielding by Sethlon. Dinty's gonna go straight for him. Oh, nope. Let's go turn around. Okay, okay. So, Dinty turning around and going after Disaster like he did, while Luck was already in that situation, probably made things not so good in their favor. Oh, Sethlon going it. very deep on Luck and making it back to stage. <laughs> it was worse. <laughs> I heard Dinty say off stream, he goes, gotcha, and starts laughing. That was great. Gets the double swoller beam. He's going out with style. He's Gotta almost he's almost as swole as the Irish dude. Have you seen that guy? I have not. God, that guy has the shoulder span of a semi-truck. <laughs> like, he bench presses, he exercises by bench pressing Optimus Prime. Um, <laughs> Seth on a disaster won that game. Like, he doesn't work out much, but when he does, you better believe one arm is... Wow. Later, Disco. Damn. Alright. Um, yeah, sorry, I lost my train of joke. <laughs> it was something about one arm doing something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One arm is Optimus Prime, and the other one is Megatron. <laughs> Can I get away with one more push on that joke? Yeah, of course. And then standing over all of that is Bumblebee pushing down on Optimus Prime and Megatron. All right, all right, all right. All I think right, that was good. I think that was a safe one. Did, I thought they were already gone. They had already gone to that field in this set. Had they? Yes or no? Please confirm. I don't remember. My 2:42 a.m. commentary is not on point. I don't think their 2.42 a.m. gameplay is on point. We may be here for a little while, guys. We have a potential for multiple bracket resets here. Because immediately after this, we also have singles grand finals. Oh! Okay, Luck surviving that smash attack. What I would like to see a little bit more out of Luck is ledge cancels on his upbeat whenever he goes to recover. He would be, like, the best Diddy Kong if he would master that. You don't even need to do that, Dinty! And Seth on losing his first stock. Because Roy. <laughs> because Roy. Again with that bad recovery. Alright, Dinty's gonna hang out on the ledge. CT ledge. CTT lock ledge. Oh! Trips on the banana gets hit by a forward smash. <laughs> Guys, I'm even running out of... Wow! That wow. He didn't get the ledge? I'm not sure, but you know. Wow. <laughs> because it's just like, it's 243. I'm not feeling it. Hey stream, I beat into I beat into M2K in a game as well. If I talk slower, it works. I'm going to talk like this for the rest of the match. Great down air by Luck right there. Seth Line makes it back to stage. It's up. We should do commentary like robots. Seth on with the edge guard. Luck makes it back on stage, up B barrels. Barrels are flying. 
back airs by Denti. Increased trajectory. Dying off top. Error. Error. Does not compute. <laughs> Up throw too strong. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Sephon doing Sephon things. <laughs> Very back here. Such recovery. Mini stocks. Smash. So smash. <laughs> Such ditty. Is it? Why did Snoop Dogg need an umbrella? Oh, drizzle. <laughs> I'm not even gonna respond to that. <laughs> We're guys. I think I need to step off the mic here. Red, red team is up. <laughs> so is up in stocks, but as soon as I say that, then he gets up thrown by Lucas. Cindy, please. Stocks are even, but Diddy Kong's percent is rather high. If they can take that stock, then they'll have a pretty good lead. Oh, I called it. Green team. Oh, that one's dead. That's Roy. The great edge guard by Denti with the back air. And we're back to a pretty even game here. Stocks and percent. Yeah. There's not too much of a disparity there. Green team with a slight mathematical lead. Green team no longer with a stock lead at any time. Alright, now this is Sethlon though. Don't sleep on this. Even though it is doubles, it is Sethlon. This may be a two on one, but by golly, this is where Sethlon is going to strive. He has free reign of the stage versus both of these guys as he gets comboed. Put him in a corner. Nobody puts Sethy in a corner. Yeah, that's where Sethlon shines. Ooh, that banana actually messed up that combo. Ooh, that banana tosser actually messed up that combo. And the Wombo That's combo. it. That wasn't a Wombo combo. That was let me go so I get hit combo. Sorry, not to discredit you there. It seemed pretty Wombo to me. Can I call it the Swanko combo? The Swanko combo. Yes. <laughs> trademark it. <laughs> Swanko combo. Trademark. <laughs> What's the Swanko combo where they stand there for five seconds and then you get aerial released into an up smash? <laughs> it's where nothing actually happens. <laughs> That modern technology here in DF Dub. <laughs> we got we got the sparkle stomps, the swallow Spark beams, <laughs> and the Swanko combo. <laughs> you know what? My 2:47 a.m. commentary is amazing. Project M after dark. <laughs> 18 plus. <laughs> In C17. <laughs> oh, Sethlon getting these great juggles on Denti. A great meteor cancel by Sethlon from Lux down there. They should call it a meteor cancel. If nothing else, just shoutouts to Final Fantasy IV. I don't get the reference, but I'm There's a spell called Meteor, and it's a big part of the storyline. I love Final Fantasy. I wish they made good Final Fantasies. Final Fantasy VIII was my favorite. Oh, you picked the wrong game. Oh, the look I just got for that. Oh my gosh. That's my gosh, dude. Oh, my gosh. So, to polarize your comment, Final Fantasy VIII was actually my least favorite out of the game. Really? I hear that a lot. I grew up with it, so mostly for the nostalgia. <laughs> Sorry, had to. The oh. game was great. I don't care what you say. No, um, it's not that it was a bad game. It just wasn't the best Final Fantasy in my opinion. The yeah. reason that I say that is because the junction system, you have to understand it going into the game and through the game to really be fully fun. On the flip side, naming the necklace in that game, funny names, is awesome. Because at the very end, you get some funny quotes out of the boss when yeah. she junctions herself. Like, I will junction myself into that man. Or I will junction myself onto myself. So, spoilers. Um, now, if we're gonna it, it, if we're gonna talk about Final Fantasies, real talk, Final Fantasy VI is far and away my favorite. Movie. I never got to play it. You are living a very deprived life. I'll get right on that. I'm gonna hold you to that next time I see you. All right. Shaking on it. Shake on. There it. we go. Now, I will say this, Final Fantasy VI has a little bit of a slow start to it. Once you get about an hour, maybe two hours into the game, you're going to be stuck. You, like, when I say stuck, it's going to stick on you and you're going to want to play. So, 
So, all that being said, half of this game has gone to Final Fantasy. I'd like to spend the other half of this game talking about, um, I think Smash Brothers, you may have heard of that? Smash Bros? Yes. Yo, are we playing Smash Bros here tonight? No, we're playing, uh, no, we're playing Game. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, My mistake. Green Team with a pretty solid-ish lead. It's a, it's solid but shaky solid. It's not a strong solid. It's like be gone at any moment. It's like a thing of ice. It can just melt away at just about any second. Yeah. Because both of these characters are good on this stage. Both of these characters are very, very powerful and can get a good kill easily. However, Cephalon is Cephalon. Don't sleep on that back. Whoa! Things happened. Lux recovery hits Cephalon down off the stage. Cephalon charging the Flare Blade in the middle of the level because the Flare Blade. <laughs> and Lux charging an up smash because up because smash. Because up smash. Yeah, that's one of the other matches. Really? Yep. Completely. Uh, I don't know. I can't down tilt him out of it. As a Meta Knight player, I cannot down tilt so him. Yeah. Well, uh, Falco's the same way. If he charges his down smash, he can't hit his feet. Like, Peach can down smash and it will miss. Yep. I thought it's tricky. I was under the impression they took invincibility frames off of his down smash. They might have taken it off him. That might be just be. Oh, oh my, my gosh! gosh. Oh. He's on fire! Shout outs to anybody that understands that reference. I really doubt anybody will. And forward smash. Alright, look, three more. Make Seth on Rage quit again. That made me so sad when that happened earlier. Whoa! Oh, hits him with the forward air, just drops down and. Luck, where did you come from, buddy? Look at you go. He's just playing his don't get hit games, and it's working out very well for him. I mean. Yes, Diddy Kong definitely does well. Diddy Kong also does well in the 1v1. Yes, Diddy Kong also does Diddy well in the 2v2. Diddy Kong just does, does well. well. Yeah, Diddy Kong just does well. Yes. Beck is best. Beck making the observation that uh, Diddy Kong's bananas are actually just completely free in this current situation. Some could say Diddy Kong's bananas are not. Look at this. Guys, guys, guys. Guys watching the stream. Look at this. Just that fast, probably. That's not gonna kill. Maybe now. Or will not kill. Not yet. Guys, Lucky can do it. Luck is definitely not it? making it easy for them. Ooh, he's one breath away. He's losing his stock, oh. but he's holding on so hard. Sethlock going for that back air. God, Sethlock could probably handcock him at this point. Oh, there it is. Oh, and the back air at 202. Slaps him around with a. Oh, hits him with a bat. So, why do they call the up throw the Hancock? Um, have you ever watched the movie Hancock? Not. That's why you don't understand it. All right. There's a part of the movie where he grabs somebody by the shirt and just throws him up into the air. Very and it's nice. this little bully kid. And then he throws him up into the air, talks to these other kids and says, if you ever do anything like this again, I'm going to be around, blah, 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 blah. And then catches the kid and then sets him down on the ground. Nice. Hancock is effectively Superman. That's so, about it. He's Superman, but alcoholic. And a little more Will Smith. All right. <laughs> Game five of set one of grand finals here at the crossover tournament in Louisville, Texas. I swear I'm gonna hate Dinty and Luck if they lose this. I will set my headset down gently and just go to sleep under the table. That was like my that's like the closest I'm gonna get to rage quitting. There's there's a pretty nice couch over in the corner. And yeah, somebody's asleep on it over in the corner, that's the problem. What's going on back? Uh, Swans on stream. Thanks, dude. That's not it. Hey, where, so now, where is, is my controller, controller over there? Yeah. Will you grab Three, the phone? Beck has lost go! her controller. Beck has found her controller. She's walking back in. Alright, game We're five. In game five this here on Dreamland. is probably the best counter pick they could do. This or Skyworld. Um... Roy does not do well on large stages. At all. I agree. That's good because Seth agrees. Oh! Great, great, great hedgehog by Ninty back there. Edgehogging, which will no longer be an option in Smash 4. Edgehogging, which is something that Ninty needs to apparently <laughs> learn how to snap to the ledge. Poor guy misses out on it. I don't know if it was due to count or distance or what, but he's missed out back there. Seth on with a great combo on Ninty takes oh. his stock with a fire spike! I got hype for a hype? second. Yes, <laughs> that was the end of the hype. Everybody got quiet. I'll bring back the hype. Three, four, five, six. 
Oh, Cephalon with a great crouch cancel forward smash on Luck, but he will make it back to stage because Barrels. There's, there's 13 people here. 14? 14. There's maybe 14 people here. There's very few people here. So, green team, red team, tied on stocks. Green team could easily do exactly what they just did and take a very sizable lead. Oh, God. I'm so hungry. It's 3 o'clock Arizona time. It's 5 o'clock our time. This is rough, almost 12 hours ago. Oh, Seth oh. with a great combo and just forward smashes him <laughs> off. The lip sync on screen, he went Get out of here. He went PGM. <laughs> Beck has lost interest and is now looking at tags. <laughs> and the hours of smash. My brain. I want to go home. Oh, Cephalon going too deep and won't make it back. I mean, this is still a game. They could very realistically turn it around. All they need is just a little bit of middle. A lot of bit of patience. Great grab by Dinti to turn that around. Slips on the banana. That should get hit. Hits him with the up B. Kills him off the top. Even on Greenland. Oh, misses the Swako combo. <laughs> Almost kills his partner. That's not something you want to do. Oh, oh no! the edge guards his partner. That was so unlucky. I had to do it. Yep. No, I'm sorry. Very appropriate. It's okay. Luck, into me, please. Alright, no more guns. Oh, God. What? Oh, I hate you. Alright, and he says nope. Does after with the 69. All right, Bracky reset. Very nice. We got possibly five more games here. One and second. I hate you guys so much right now. So and much right now. And then there's a possible another ten matches for grand finals in singles. We're gonna be here for a while. If Sethon and Does after can carry on the momentum that they just picked up. Into the second set, they could take it 3-0 and save us. They could, yes. But something tells me that won't happen. I don't think Denti and Luck. Will yeah, I'll show it to you. <laughs> well, on the bright side of all this, and let's talk realistically here for a couple minutes. You know what a bracket reset means for the viewers? More matches. More content, baby. They're yep. able to sit down and enjoy this a little bit longer. More so thank you learn. guys for giving more entertainment to our viewers at 3 a.m. Central Standard Time, Louisville, yep. Texas. More film, more chances to learn. Maybe it's probably good for the community in the long run. But right now, it's 3 in the morning. We're tired. Yeah, and Beck <laughs> has a job interview in the morning. <laughs> this poor girl is just being a trooper running everything. Oh. And here we go. The first game in the second set is going to be on Final Destination. Hold down the fourth one. I'll be back in just a minute. Problems. All right, guys. This is Swank coming to you live from Louisville, Texas. Here we see the green team trying to get control of the stage, but the projectiles and the up B from Denti will take Cephalon's first stop. These projectiles and bananas from Luck and uh, Denti make it really hard for these two characters to uh, really get their footing. And the red team has a pretty commanding lead here in stocks. They're up two stocks. <laughs> Shouts out to Fortchonk. I know you hate me, but I love you. And the Swoller Beam gets Cephalon off the top. Red team's still here with a pretty commanding lead. Let's see if Luck can get back on 
stage, and he does. Sethlon, Sethlon with a great down smash kills Denti off the top and a forward smash will send Lug off stage but he will come back from that and he gets killed by a thing. I wasn't sure what really happened. Killed by a thing that's approximately doubles commentating in a nutshell. Denti pivot walking? Just for fun? For shiggles? Green team up by two stocks but both at very high percent so this could be evened up pretty quickly. Zephon's at pretty high percentage. 
uh, trying to hang on to his stock. I think I heard earlier Infinity was talking about how it's much more important to live in doubles than to, uh, I think, than to get the kills, but there, Zephon just walks into, walks into Ivysaur's up smash. That was a really nice little team combo there. Grabs to Fares by Lucas. Green team is still up with a solid two stocks. Denti had a pretty high percent. If they're going to want to come back from this, they're going to have to play a very solid, a very patient game. And Cephalon hits him with an F smash and he's gone. Rip Denti. See if Luck can do anything. Diddy's no joke in the 2v1. Charging the Flare Blade. Oh, no. Oh, that was and he hits smart. his own partner. Laughs wow. it off. That was really smart by Luck. And then getting the uh, terrible barrel spike on Cephalon there. Cephalon going for another charge flare blade. This time it doesn't quite uh, hit his partner, thank goodness. Oh, oh, that was close. It seems they're really trying to go for some pretty, like, funny and kills. There it is, a trade taking off a uh, blood stop. This is really interesting because in the first set, it seemed like Denti and Luck had it pretty solidly, but then as soon as Sethlon and Disaster won their first game, they just started building momentum and it just really hasn't stopped since then. What map would be best? Who knows? And they take it to Smashville in game three in the second set of Grand Finals at Doubles. Green Team doing a really great job of controlling center stage, trying to not give them as much space as they can so that they can't really set up any of their uh, walls of projectiles and everything. They've got to stay in their face, and if they can keep their momentum up, they'll be fine. Sethon loses his first stock to Denti with a up B. Nice little jab reset by Denti right there. A great flare blade will take Denti from the top. And Luck losing his stock. Uh, he would have died either way, but died charging his barrels. And Sethlon just sitting there and taking the up smash. Bananas <laughs> are such an interesting uh, thing to bring into teams. My old static partner was a pretty good Diddy Kong. And so I, I have a little bit of banana game, but I, I'll still trip on it quite a bit during matches. Yeah, they can't be thrown out quite as wildly as they can in singles. Yeah, that, well, that's what makes Diddy Kong pretty strong in the 2v1, is his bananas become unlocked. He can just banana everywhere. Right, but in doubles, you gotta be mindful. You don't wanna hit your teammate or slip on your own banana or something like that or get it converted on you. 
Oh, and Denti gets a great down air on Cephalon. <sighs> and just like that, they're even in stocks, but Disaster is at a pretty high percent, so... They're gonna have to play pretty solid, or... This could go south pretty quickly. Great back air by Denti will take Disaster's last stock in this match. Yes. I sure you some of that. Gonna strike some stages right here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looks like Denti and Luck are definitely getting their footing back after that momentum train that Cephalon and Disaster ran on them, but we'll see. They're both teams are playing pretty solid, so this could still go either way. This is a pretty pivotal game for Cephalon and Disaster. If uh, they lose this, then it'll go to Denti and Luck. Yeah, he's probably trying to uh, capitalize off of the small stage, the very short blast zones, which just worked in Cephalon's favor with a double F smash, killing both of them. I think that was Diddy Kong's back here, or I thought it was back in the corner, I saw feet. That took, that took disaster <laughs> There were feet. And Denti with the great edge hog, killing Cephalon because Roy's recovery is buns. Needs buff please, PMBR if you're listening, give Roy a tether. Ooh, the stomp from Gan is not quite hitting Sethon. Ooh. But that wizard kick. Sethon will make it back to stage though. Red team with a one stock lead, but. Ganon is at a pretty high percent and. Oh no, he's after not making that recover. I don't know if he knows uh, so much about Lucas's tether. I have. Ooh, oh no. Another ST. I have not seen Disaster lose the tether very much. Just give everyone a tether. The game will be fair and balanced. Everyone Roy needs a tether. Spam that up in the chat. We all know it's true. Oh! Oh, wow. and Disaster with a great back air, sending him down at an awful fast speed. Cannon's jab, though. <laughs> Cephalon doing Cephalon things. More Cephalon things. Yep. Ooh. And what kills disaster with the barrels? It is now. Now it's a 1v1. Versus Roy. Dinty, his secondary versus Roy. Cephalon, aka D Roy. And <laughs> AKA AK Wesker. Wesker. Oh, misread. I think he was just trying to read a roll there. Cephalon is just getting these combos off, and Dinty that did. down smash will finish it. Yeah, we're going to a game five. I think. Game. Game five. Let's, go Let's get hype. Let's get hype. Yeah, yeah. Colluding <laughs> yeah, game five. B yeah, look, bananas. bananas man. You're only throwing two bananas. <laughs> 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 
we could not have had a more close grand finals and doubles here at this tournament. And everybody, please oh. welcome back god. Infinity. Did Joining they really me. do this? What? Oh my god. Guys, all of my hate. <laughs> Every last ounce of it. Oh, and they're going to take it back to Dreamland. No, I did not go to sleep, Croesus. I am very awakeish. I was, I was, de I was taking care of some business back in the back, talking to some venue people, doing some stuff and things. We, uh, we're, we're, we're looking at some things. Why are we at game ten? I swear, we better not go to a game twenty. <laughs> That's a potential thing. I know it's a potential <laughs> thing, and it'll probably end up happening. Uh, you cursed it. You cursed it. You said you hoped it doesn't happen. Now it's gotta happen. <laughs> Why are they doing this to us? <laughs> Uh. Oh god. Oh. Alright, so, stage is a stage. Things are going on. Um, Stocks are even. Yeah, this is Percent. a very even match so Pretty far. even. This is no longer an even match because Zafter just locked, lost his first stock. So now the red team has a mild stock lead, does not have a percent lead. Sethlon trying to turn it around, not quite able to convert that into an actual stock. Uh, Luck wisely recovering high, was able to shield in time. <laughs> Did you see that skid into the grab? He goes to grab Sethlon and gets Disaster instead because Disaster, his up smash got blocked and he went woo across the screen. That's the sound that he makes. He's woo! woo! Yeah. Whoop, was that whoop, a uh, forward tilt? Whoop, 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 Yo, whoop. chat. Bring Chat. out the whoop pipe, yes. please. Get some whoop, whoops. Whoop. We need whoop, 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 whoop. I want to see Emu Killer all over my stream. <laughs> Dinsy trying to save his teammate over there. Maybe she's to get uh, him out of that edge guard position. Uh, red team with a slight disadvantage again on this counter pick. It's uh, whoop upy. Oh, great DI from Disaster, and luck to loses. Luck to loses. Luck to loses his stop. <laughs> luck to loses. <laughs> Luck to Lucis. That should be a stock. Yep. yep. All right. There it is. Thank you for the whoops. Yes, we've been whooped. Whoop whoop whoop. So whoop. green team, <laughs> green team still has a one stock lead, but Disaster's it's at a pretty high percent, trying to be safe, but gets down aired by Luck. That down air onto the bottom of the pineapple. <laughs> and once again, stocks are even. Shoutouts to SpongeBob. This is not under the sea. It's actually in the sky. Yes, very sky. Mini Kirby. Dreamland. Very wow. Very DDD. -dee -dee. Such, such much food. Mini wrestles. <laughs> very, very no slow. Meta Knights. Much sad. Ooh. Great forward air from Luck back there. All right, so now Red Team has a slight lead, a very fragile lead. Ahem. And Red Team no longer has a lead. Gone. <laughs> Commentator's Curse is OP. Oh. I have the worst case of Commentator's Curse. Dude, I am never... I'm like, if I go to commentate on a national, I'm just going to sit there and just talk about nothing. <laughs> yeah, see, even Beck, I do it to my own girlfriend. <laughs> She's still salty about it, too. <laughs> and this was like 700 weeks ago or something. I don't know. That's many weeks. That is many weeks. And Seth wow. with a great forward smash on luck. This is still, this again, with the fragile lead. <laughs> Luck just <laughs> throwing forward smashes out. Luck, the C-Stick champ of the game. <laughs> Luck should just put his tag as C-Stick. C-Stick. <laughs> C-S-T-I-K. C-Stick. Uh-oh. Frame drop. Oh! oh great. Oh! Oh, he survives it. God. See, now I'm not, I'm not being quiet because I'm tired. I'm, oh, no, the stream dropped. No. We're incredibly sorry to everybody that was watching. Uh-oh. This is not... This is... So, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. In grand finals, of all things. Guys. Guys. Please. Restart the set. Please. Oh, my goodness. They could do it. He could do it. They could all do it. They're both at such a high percent. One good F smash could kill one of them, and then it would be a 1v1 situation. He, like, breathes on them funny. They light on fire and go 
screeching across everything. Oh, oh what, what a, a great, great board air from Luck. Excellent teamwork from Luck and Dinty not killing each other. Luck and Dinty <laughs> will take grand finals. Luck and Dinty, your champions of crossover.